Well, first of all, uh, just on the point of the Mutual Defense Treaty, we've made clear that it applies to public vessels uh, in the South China Sea. And so China well understands our view of the application of the Mutual Defense Treaty uh, should that line get crossed. That's an important point. We believe it is a stabilizing point. It is one we have reinforced publicly and very much reinforced directly to the PRC, and the Philippines understands and appreciates that. Secondly, we have tried to consult very closely with the Philippines because these are decisions they should lead on. How to most effectively reprovision this ship so that the sailors on board have the food and water and other provisions they need to continue to fulfill their mission. And we will do what is necessary with the Philippines uh, to see to it that that happens. But in terms of specific concepts of operations or the exact way in which the United States would be engaged, our preference is to have the maintenance of the status quo there, the capacity of the Philippines to do these resupplies. We will continue to support the Philippines and stand behind them as they take steps to be able to ensure that. And I will be very cautious about speaking about hypotheticals should we have to get to it, because the, the most important thing right now is to see de-escalation and to see the ability of the Philippines to do resupplies. We believe that is achievable, and we are going to drive to make that happen. Uh, we have seen them respond when we go to them to say, here's a bank that's facilitating a transaction that has concerned us. We have seen them respond to that. But writ large, the picture is not pretty. Uh, China continues to be a major supplier of dual-use items to Russia's war machine. And dual-use items is kind of a, an abstract term. It's a good Washington term. What it means, it's the, in, it's the implements. It's the instruments that go into the weapons that are killing Ukrainians and oppressing Ukraine. Uh, and we think China should stop because we think it is profoundly outside of the bounds of decent conduct uh, by nation states, and, and China should not be on Team Russia when it comes to the war in Ukraine. So um, there are targeted ways in which they are responsive, but the larger picture continues to travel in the wrong direction from my perspective, and we have made no bones about that. We've been quite public and transparent about it, and we, of course, say that directly to them in dialogue as well, and so do our European partners. And the NATO summit made a very strong statement on this issue publicly.